In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to finish your weaving if you don't want any fringe. Let's get started. I have this little weaving that I just wove up as a sample and I'm going to cut it right off the loom. I wanna leave these strings nice and long so that it's a little bit easier to do this technique. And on this end, I can just kind of pull it off the loom. Now, before we do this, I'm going to cut all these loops from the bottom open. And then I'm going to flip the piece onto its front. So this is the back of my piece, this is the front. There are two different ways to do this. There's the half Damascus and the full Damascus. So first I'm gonna show you the half Damascus. I'm gonna be working from right to left to do this technique. And all we're gonna do is work with two strings at a time. You're gonna bring the right string over the left and then through the loop that you've just created and you're gonna pull it up to the top. So now you can see it's making our warp string angle back up into the weaving. So now we're working with the next two strings. We're bringing the right string over the left and then through the loop. As I'm going, I'm really trying to focus on having the warp strings stay in line with where they're coming out of the weaving and not pulling them way over here. So I'm gonna pull that one tight and then we can work on the next two strings. So right over left, and then through and tighten. So I'm gonna continue doing that all the way across. Now that we're done all of those half knots, we can go ahead and tuck in the ends. I'm just gonna use one of these little metal yarn needles. And since our strings are kind of short, especially this one, what I'm gonna do is just go to the channel right above where that warp string was. And I'm gonna go through a few strings. You can choose how many, however many you want and I'm gonna fish my needle through that channel first. Then I'm going to thread my needle and pull that end through. So I'm gonna go ahead and tuck in every end, again, putting the needle through the channel first of the wefts, making sure that you're only grabbing the loops from the back of the piece so that you can't see your needle from the front, and then threading the needle and pulling the string through. Now I have three warp strings left and only two channels, so I am going to put two warp strings through one channel so that I have enough. Once all those ends are tucked in, you can go back with some scissors and carefully trim off those ends so that they sort of just disappear into the piece. Just making sure I'm actually filming sound. So that's the half Damascus way of finishing the piece. Here's what it looks like from the front. Next, I'm gonna show you how to do the full Damascus. So the first thing you're gonna do is exactly what we just did on the other side. So for the full Damascus, basically what we're gonna do is we're going to do a full knot instead of just a half knot. So I've already done the half Damascus and I'm gonna bring these strings back down. My strings are getting a little bit on the short side, but it'll still work. And so I'm gonna just go ahead and do the same thing a second time so that it's creating more of a knot this time. So now we have the full Damascus and I'm just gonna go ahead and tuck in all of these ends. Here's our finished little piece. This is the full Damascus, which you can see a little bit more than the half Damascus, which really kind of hides in there and I love. If you enjoyed this video, check out this one next.